Welcome back. Um, today we're going to do something really exciting, another concept about the English language that um, is very interesting. So I'm real glad that you're here for this. You will need your whiteboard and your marker. You're going to need a bigger board, so hopefully that you have that. Um, what we're going to look at today is the fact that in the English language, the sounds that we say, there's only about, there's about 40, 44 sounds in the English language. And almost every one of our sounds can be spelled in a lot of different ways. That's what makes English a little bit more complex. But if you understand the logic of it and you're taught how to deal with that, it really simplifies it a lot. All right. So if you are new and you haven't done any of the lessons yet, you don't want to start here. Go back to the very beginning because these lessons build on each other. Watch the introduction and do each of the letter lessons in the playlist in order. Okay. All right. So for all of you who have watched those, I want you on your whiteboard to put six lines across the top, evenly spaced about one inch from the top so your board looks like this. Okay. Today we're going to look at six different ways to spell the sound E. Now there's more than six, but we're going to look at the top six ways to spell the sound E. So I'm going to put mine up here. All right. So watch me first, please. We're going to put words under these lines now. We're not going to be writing on top of them like we had been doing before. Under this first line, watch me first and then you're going to do it. We're going to say as we write the word week. W e k. You want to watch me first so you know, because this is the week, like how many days of the week, not I'm feeling weak. Okay. Now your turn with your marker. Say every sound as you write the word week under this line. Say those sounds. W e Say it as you're writing it, okay? Sounds out of your mouth. Be sure you get that habit going. All right, are you all set? Now, watch me first. I'm going to show you something called dot and dash. When one letter spells a sound, you put a dot under it and you say the sound. If two, three, or four letters spell a sound, you're going to put a dash, all right? So I'm going to do it, then it's going to be your turn. It looks like this and sounds like this. W, E, K, weak. Now you go ahead and say the sounds as you dot and dash. Be sure you're saying w, e, k, week. All right. Now on top of the line, we are going to put our first way to spell the sound e, and then make that column number one. Column number one. Okay. Under the next line, let's say the sounds, and you can do this one with me now that you know what we're up to. Say the sounds as you write the word seat. S, e, t, seat. Have you got it? Be sure your spellings look like mine, all right? You want to be sure you use my spellings, okay? Now say the sounds as you dot and dash seat, all right? We'll do this together. Say those sounds. S. Our next sound is E. That's going to get a dash. S e. T. Okay? Are you good? Now up here, we're going to put our new way. We just discovered, like Christopher Columbus of the E spelling, another way to spell E. All right? That's column number two. Under this next one, I want you to say the sounds as you write the word brief. We're going to be brief as we talk about whatever. Okay, I try to be brief. All right, under here, be sure you use my spellings. Say every sound as you write brief. B, r, e, f, brief. Have you got it? Now look at my fingers and we're going to say each sound and this is going to tell you how many marks we're going to have for, with dot and dash, okay? So say each sound as I touch, stop when I lift off. What are sounds in brief? Did you say them? I'm going to say them for you to check. B, R, E, F, brief. Okay? So you're going to have four marks. I want you to say as you dot and dash brief, put your E spelling at the top, and then I'm going to check it. Say those sounds as you dot and dash. Be sure you say. And then write your spelling for E up at the top. If I'm going too fast, you can stop the video and go ahead and do that and then restart it. Okay? So, eyes up here. Say the sounds as I dot and dash brief. I want you to say them with me. You cannot have too much say in dot dash or say as you write. B, R, E, F. Okay? If your dot and dash looks different than mine, that's cool. I want you to just switch it so that it looks like mine and say those sounds as you go. Okay? And here is our third way to spell the sound E. Okay? Brief. Are we good? Under the next one, say as you write the word only. Only. Let me hear all of those sounds. O, n, l, 
E only. All right, now let's say as I touch my fingers, we're going to do one syllable at a time. So we're going to do own and then lee. What are the sounds in own? So we have o, n, did you get it? Now lee. This one is u, e. So four marks. That one's pretty straightforward. Go ahead and say as you dot and dash only and put your spelling for e at the top. Only. All right. Eyes up here. Say with me as I dot and dash only. Let me hear your sounds. O, n, u, e. Only. And this is your E spelling. If you put something different, that's cool. Just change it so it looks like mine. Your board should look like mine. This is column number four. You good? Under the next one, say as you write the word she. Sh, e, she. Now I want you to say the sounds as you dot and dash she. Put your E spelling at the top. Okay, now it's my turn. Say with me. Sh, E, she. Here's our fifth way to spell E. Isn't that interesting? Pretty interesting. Our last one that we're going to do here, say as you write the word ski, s, k, e. I like to water ski, not so much snow ski. Go ahead and say as you dot and dash ski, put that E spelling at the top. Okay? S, k, e, ski. And here is column number six. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to put some words in the middle. I'm going to give you a chance to say the sounds as you go through and see if you can figure them out, okay? If you can't, don't worry, because I'm going to tell you the sounds and the word too. But I want you to try it first. After we've got the word, we're going to decide which E spelling it matches, okay? So if it's the same as the E spelling for week, we're going to say the sounds as we write the word here. So you're not going to write the word in the middle, okay? When we're done reading it, we're going to say as we write it in each column. So if it's the same as the spelling in week, we're going to say as we write it here. The spelling in seat here, brief goes here, E and only here, E and she here, and ski there. Okay? Are you ready? So here is the word. And remember, your hint is all these words have the sound E. So what do you think this word is? So if we say those sounds, this is P, E, S. Piece. Now this is like a piece of pizza, not like peace be with you, okay? That's this kind of piece. It's like a piece of pie or a piece of pizza. Must be hungry. I'm thinking food stuff. All right, so your job is to decide which column do you think this goes in? One, which E spelling does it match? Does it match one, two, three, four, five, or six? Where do you think it's going to go? Now when I do this one, oftentimes I may get three and I may get six. So because of that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dot and dash it. I want you to say the sounds with me so we can look and check and see which column it goes in, okay? Say those sounds with me. What do we have? P, E, S, peace. So this E spelling, if you thought it was three, you're absolutely right. Now this one, remember that dude at the end as part of the spelling with the consonant next to us? This is going to be S at the end of a word whenever you see it there, quite frankly. So this one is not, this is a one letter spelling and this is two. So it can't go in column number five, but it does go in column number three. So your job right now is to say each sound as you write the word peace and be sure you're using my spellings, okay? Say as you write peace. P e s peace. What did I do with my eraser? I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back to my... Hmm. Oh, there it is. Oh, let me wipe this off. Okay. Now we'll go a little bit quicker. What is this word? What have you got? Yeah, this is the word speech. Speech. Which E spelling do you think it matches? One, two, three, four, five, or six. All right. We look at this. This is the same as in the word weak. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Say the sounds as you write the word speech in column one. Let's hear you. S E, ch, speech. Did you say every one of those sounds? I hope that you did. I want you to be just as crisp as I am, okay, and saying those sounds as you write. All right, what is this word? So when we look at this one, we've got that first part, and here, this is going to be a s when an e, i, or y is next. So we've got fancy, f, a, n, s, e. Where is this E spelling going? Okay, this word with the E spelling. This is our spelling, like in only. 
So under this one, say the sounds as you write fancy. Let's hear you. A, N, S, E. Fancy. Beautiful job. I'm sure you're saying those sounds. All right, what is this word? What have you got here? This is a, actually a compound word. We've got this and then that. So maybe. Where is maybe going to go? What do you think? Now, you might have said five, you might have said four, right? We've got that, those letters in this word, don't we? So we've got to pay attention to the sounds that we're saying, right? And we're listening for the sound E. So if we dot and dash this, M, A, B, E. Here we said E, right? Here we said A, plus that's a two-letter spelling. So if you said five, you're absolutely right. Say the sounds as you write the word maybe. Every sound, please. M, A, B. E, maybe. We just said this one. What word do we have here? This one is please. Yep, please. Where do you want to put please? So here again, this is a consonant E spelling. Interestingly, that can be s like in house, right? But it also can be p l e Z, z, like in please, right? The same spelling, different sound. We'll look at that one later. All right, so your E spelling, not going to go there, right? This is it. So it goes in column number two. Say every sound as you write please, and be sure you say z here in both of those letters. Say as you write please. P, U, E, Z, please. Here's a long one. When you read a long word, each piece is going to have a vowel spelling in it. So you go to one piece and figure it out, and then you do the next one, and then you put them together. We're going to do a lot of work on that, too, as we move forward. So what's our word here? Thirteen. Thirteen. Right. The first year as a teenager. Thirteen. All right. So what column would you like thirteen to go in? Which one do you think it is? Now, if you said that it has this letter in it, doesn't it? And also this, or also this spelling. So I want you to pay attention to what your ears are hearing. Where did you say E, right? And which one does it match? So we have th, er, this is a er spelling, not the sound E, is it? T, een. So if you said column number one, you're absolutely right. Every sound, one syllable at a time, as we write 13. Let me hear you. Th, er, thir, t, e, Mm, teen, 13. As you're writing those, those spellings and your hand is writing, your mouth is saying, your ears are hearing, right? Um, your eyes are seeing, it's helping teach you this code very, very quickly. We don't have to do a whole lesson on a lot of these things. It's giving you a lot, a lot of information, okay? So be sure you are saying those sounds. So what is this word? You're gonna say A there. What have we got? R, A, R, A, D. E, D, Ray, D, O. My O's a little crazy. So where's that one going to go? All right, this is the only one that we've got over here, right? Say every sound as you write radio. Let's hear you. Ray, R, A. Now let me show you something. Can you pause a second for this D? A lot of people of every age up into senior citizens confuse B and D because quite frankly, they're all a bat and a ball. So how do we know which one to use and which way to make it if we confuse them because it's kind of like looking at a dinosaur from two different angles. When you make a D, I always want you to make a hook around first, which is we call it a doorknob. So when you go to a door, there's a door over here, there's a doorknob first. The doorknob comes first, doorknob starts with D, right? So I want you to make a D doorknob. See how it would be almost impossible to make that into a B now? So D doorknob, D door, D down. That way you don't have to make uppercase dis, okay? You can practice that. We actually have a webinar on that, which I will share with you in our resources too. R-A-D-E, here's our E spelling, like in ski, ski, and then O. Have you got it? Radio, good job. What is this word? You got it? I want you to know when you see this at the end, sometimes it's one sound, sometimes it's two, always it means something in the past tense. So this one is l, if some people say this word is learned because it looks a lot like it, but we're, it's not, there's no er in there, is there? L, and we all have to have an e. E, n, d, leaned. I leaned against the board, right? 
Where is our E spelling that it matches? This is part of our D spelling, meaning past tense, so it can't go over here. So this is our winner right here in column two. Say as your right leaned, remember when you get to that D, do the hook around first, and it's a two letter D. Okay, are you ready? Say those sounds, let me hear you. O, E, N, and then that two letter D with that hook around, tall down. Lean. Now remember, if I'm talking too fast, it's kind of purposeful because you can always stop it. And if I'm going too slow, it's like, oh, I'm falling asleep and you can't speed it up, okay? So if I'm talking too fast, pause the video, say those sounds as you write, and then turn it back on, okay? We are good. Um, how about this one? Where are we going? What's our word there? We got that one? We have our teen over here like 13, don't we? Teen A, when this has an E, I, or Y after it, more often than not, it's gonna be J. Teen A, J, er. Now, teenage looks like this, but when we put an ending to it, teenager, teenage ing is not a word, but if we did that, we usually drop this letter. So this, is, this belongs to the er spelling, not the J, okay? That makes sense. Teenager, where's that one gonna go? Column number one, right? Say the sounds as you write teenager. Let me hear that beautiful voice loud and clear, please. T, E, N, teen, A, J, er. That two letter er. Here's a good word. I'm gonna give you a hint on this. These three letters together are the spelling for I. Say I there. What do we have for this word? So if you say those sounds, b, er, i, t, bright, l, e, brightly. The lights are shining brightly. Where's this one going? Yep, here's our e. Column number four, be sure you write all three of those letters and say i, all right? That's i a lot of times before a t. Say as you write brightly, let me hear you. B, r, i, t, l, e. Did you say every one of those sounds? All right. Remember, all of our words have the sound E. What is this word here? So we have, if this is our E, field, id, fielded. Now this is two sounds in this word. Does this go in this column also, I wonder? What do you think? This is how we check to see, because this is a letter and it's a one letter spelling, but our check is gonna be, do we hear the same sound? Because remember, a lot of our spellings can represent a lot of different sounds. The same spelling, different sounds. So, f, e, o, feel, d, i, d. In this word, that's actually a spelling for i, like in the word pretty. Isn't that wild? It also means past tense, but it's two different sounds. So our e spelling is going to go here in number three. Does that make sense? Say all of those sounds. We have two chances to do that hook around first for that d. Say as you write fielded, like I fielded the softball or baseball. <sighs> E, O, D, I, D. Look around, tall down. Or I fielded questions um, at the conference. All right. This word. Go ahead and read it one piece at a time. That's how we read big words, how we spell big words, like we're eating an elephant, one piece at a time. What do you think this one is? Medium. Medium. Beautiful. Where do you think we're going to put medium? You may have said here, and you may have said here. So let's check it out. M, E, is that the spelling for E? It is, isn't it? So it does go in column number five, doesn't it? Me, D, what sound? D, D, E, there it is again. So it's also gonna go in column number six. A, uh, M, mm, medium, right? So I will have a medium coffee. I usually get a large, but medium, all right? kind of between small and large. So this is what we're gonna do here when it goes in two columns. We're gonna say as we write it in column number five, put a star under this E spelling. Say as we write it in column number six, put a star under this E spelling. Have you got it? Let's go in column five. M, E, M, D, E, M, D, A, M. And here's our E spelling. Got it? Say those sounds, please, out of your mouth, not just mine. M, E, D, E, uh, mm. Did you say them with me? And a star under this one. 
beautiful. This is a word a lot of people are like, this is a crazy word and miss, easy to misspell, right? What is our word here? We say this word because all the time, which we can, that can be a, b, e, k, a, z, which we spell it with a different a and a different z a lot of times. So because, where is because going? Here is where we said e, right? So which one matches column number five? Say as you write because. Let me hear you say those sounds. Be sure you use those spellings in the word b, e, k, a, z. Because you're doing all right. We've got a few more words to go. You're doing awesome. This gives you so much great information about a lot of things, which is really wonderful. And E is a really common sound and spelling that you see in a whole lot of words. So this is going to help your spelling and reading go boom pretty quickly. What's this word? Yes, teacher. Beautiful. Teacher. Where is teacher going to go? All right. Our E spelling matches column two. Is that the one you picked? All right. Are you ready? In column number two, say the sounds as you write teacher. Let me hear that voice, please, through the camera. T E T Ch er. Be sure you use that two letter spelling. That's a vowel spelling, right? With both those letters in it. Teacher. Here's a good word. What's this word? You suppose? This is such an interesting word. This is the word preview. We're going to dot and dash it in a second, but I want you to think about what column do you think it's going to go in? This one's kind of messing with your mind a little. So you've got to pay attention to what your ears are hearing to get the right column here. So say those sounds in preview. Where are your ears hearing E? Okay. So make a choice. Don't write it yet. We're going to dot and dash it together and I'll say those sounds with you. Are you ready? What are the sounds in pre? P, R, E. So here's a spelling for E, right? Now view. What are the sounds in view? V. What sound do you hear right here in U? What do you hear first? This is actually y. How crazy is that? If you think of words like onion or senior or junior or um, behavior, this is our spelling for y in the middle. Wild of bigger words. So v, y, u. So is this the spelling for e? It is not e, is it? It is y. So here, this one goes in column number five. All right, that was a tricky one. Now say those sounds as you write so you learn that new code. P, r, E, pre, v, y, say y, so your brain gets that in there. Ooh, ooh, like a new. This is going to be a ooh, like a new. All right. What's our word? What have we got? And remember, this is going to have three vowel spellings, so we're going to have three syllables. Sometimes you go to there, go to there, trying to figure it out one piece at a time. This is the word memory. Memory on our computer, a memory in my brain, which seems to be getting smaller all the time. Memory. Where is memory going to go? What do you think? Now, you might have chosen five. You might have chosen four. So let's check it. Let our ears tell us and our mouth tell us what the, um, the answer is. What are the sounds in meh? M, mm, eh. Is that the sound e? So one letter spelling, but now it's the sound eh. Right? So not here. We also had it for I in one of our words, right? But here it's S, so it's not the sound E. It can't go in that one. M, E, mer. What are the sounds in mer? M, mm, er. Those two are together because <clears throat> it's one sound in this word. Memer, E. There it is. There's our E spelling. So this one matches here. Say as you write memory. Let me hear you. M, E, M, er, E. Memory. All right, last word. Are you up for it? What is this word? What have we got? You figured it out? This is relieve. So what are our sounds? R, E. There's an E, right? Leave. L, E. There it is again. This is another double one. V, and there's that V that's at the end of a word spelled a lot. So relieve this one. We go in column five, 
And for this E spelling, it's going to go in column number three. So I'm going to say as we write it right here in three, because it's right in front of me, R, E, L, E, V. And I'm going to put that star there. And then I'm going to say as we write it in column five, R, E, L, E, V. And here in column, or column three, and that one in column, wait, hello, Nora. This one in column five. All right. Beautiful. I, I lied. There's one more here. Last one. Last one, because this is a good tricky one. What is our word right here? You figured it out? All right. I love how you're trying. This is the word employee. Employee. Where is employee going? Now, this is such an interesting word. Why did I choose this word? It's a good last, a good one to end on. Employ. What are sounds in M? A, M, M sounds employ. P, L, OI. And OI is really two sounds, but we keep this one together because a lot of times people will misspell it. But OE, it really is this one. So I'm not going to put it in that column because we're going to keep that one together. So if you did that one, you're actually um, on track for sure. Employ E. Here's our E spelling. All the way over here in column one that's been feeling lonely, right? Say as you write employee, let me hear you. E, M, P, U, O, I, E. Employee. All right, put your tap on your marker. Let's take a peek at these because there's a lot of ways to spell E and all vowels and consonants actually. So we're going to look at the patterns that we see in these words when we're looking at them, okay? So this E spelling is really the most popular one. You're going to see this most, most of the time for E. It's most often going to be at the beginning of a word. Once in a blue moon, it's at the end. And once in a blue moon, it's at the beginning like E-L, but that's pretty rare. This is the most popular one in the middle of a word. Okay, did I say middle? Hopefully. This one is also up there as far as most popular. Where do you see this one? Beginning, middle, or end. There it is in the middle, right? Again, it can be at the beginning, once in a while at the end, like C or the beginning, like eat. But most popular, this one is in the middle. This one also is not quite as common. There's some common words like field and brief and piece. Um, but that one's going to also be in the, in the middle of a word, OK? This one is a real strong tendency right here, real strong pattern. Where are you seeing that one? That guy's at the end, almost always. And it's going to be at the end in a multi-syllable word, so a word that has happy, more than one syllable or mouthful of sounds. And it's almost always going to be next to a consonant. So when you hear E at the end of a word and you're writing a longer word, um, I don't know what it is. This is the most common way. Not the only way, because we see over here with employee. But when you hear E at the end, and it's a longer multi-syllable word, that's most commonly how you're going to spell it. This E is at the end of little teeny tiny words where it's the only vowel, like he, me, be, we, she, that one. But it's also at the end of, typically at the end of the first syllable, most commonly. So in maybe, all right, B is kind of a compound word there, so that's at the end there. But at the end of the first syllable, prepare, because, believe, receive, okay? That is going to be a common one at the end. And this E spelling, ski, it's really one of the only words I know that's one syllable with this for E, but this loves to be especially in three syllable words. Radio, magazine, uh, medium, okay? So you're going to see that as E. We borrowed that. The Spanish use that as E, also the French, all right? So there's many more ways to spell the sound E. I want you to start thinking about words where you hear the sound E. Does your name have the sound E in it? Does your you know, somebody you know or somebody you're related to. Does their name have the sound E in it? Does your dog's name? What, you know, words that you're driving down the street and you're thinking about, does that have the sound E? Oh, that has the sound E in it twice. I want you to pay attention to what you're hearing and saying more than what you're seeing. So listen for that sound and then you'll discover which spelling. Bonus points if you discover which spelling, um, a spelling that's not on here, like for a different word that has the ways to spell the sound E. Now in your resources, down below in the, in the description, our link, the resources for this lesson, uh, is a webinar that I did. It's called Slay the Guessing Monster. Once we get past third grade, third grade or past, regardless if you're 10 or 20 or 80, right? What happens is that our brain kind of maxes out on the amount of words we can memorize, if we've memorized words, and then we guess more, okay? Often we're guessing until then if we're using memorization because the code kind of 
encourages that if we don't know how it works or what it is. So there's a webinar that's in your resources. It's called Slay the Guessing Monster. So watch that webinar. I did it for teachers, for parents, but it's definitely great for those of you who are learning to improve your reading, writing, and spelling to have, you know, learn some tips and tricks about how do I go about stopping that guessing habit? Because it's like a lot of things. How do I stop, go about stopping my habit of eating ice cream or whatever. So there's there's some things that you can do because sometimes we just do these things without even thinking about it. So things that you can do to stop yourself, think about it like, oh, I'm guessing. I'm going to go through and figure out these words in the way that I'm learning with Ebley and Nora. Okay, so check those out. Thanks for being here. I'll see you at the next lesson.